So there's really only one step in this process that I haven't shown you, and that's removing the NVIDIA drivers of the current graphics card. Now, it doesn't matter if you have an AMD or NVIDIA card currently in your machine. Before you put the new card in, you want to remove the drivers of the previous card. So when I had this computer fired up, before I shut it down, I removed the drivers for the NVIDIA GeForce GTX 580 that I currently have on this machine. Once we install the new card and fire up the PC again, then we can install the brand new drivers for the new card. Now, I do apologize for the J.J. Abrams-style lens flare here, but it can't be avoided. I am doing this installation during the day in my office up here, and it's getting a little hot up here. It's in the summertime, but the birds are chirping outside, so I had to eliminate the noise and close the window. And if I put the AC on up here, it'll really be loud. So let's see if I can get through this quickly before I sweat all my liquids out. So on this case, it's pretty simple. You just have a latch over here that you pull out. The door comes down like so and exposes the innards of this machine. For those of you who are new to a process like this, you want to make sure that your computer is totally unplugged from everything. That means any monitors you might have, that means any external speakers you might have, especially if they're powered. And of course the power cord needs to be removed as well and any USB devices that you might have, especially externally powered USD, USB devices. So basically, this machine should be unplugged from everything before you do something like this. So, in this case, what I'm gonna do, there's a piece right here that I wanna remove, get it out of the way, so I can access the graphics card. Now, all of this is toolless, so I'm not going to need any screwdrivers or anything in this case. In your case, things might be different. Now, the GeForce GTX 580 here has two power connections here. One is an 8-pin and one is a 6-pin. I pulled them both off. And let's just tuck that up here for a second so I can access the card itself. These little clips, you press down on them and you push them back. And again, there's two of them because this card takes up two slots. So now the card is pretty much ready to be pulled out. There is a tab on the motherboard itself, which I have to push down, and uh, that will release the card. I don't know if you're gonna be able to see it. So I couldn't successfully film that because even though this is a full-size case, it was hard to film it and actually get my finger in here to release it, but I'll explain to you how I did it. Basically, the card was in this slot here, but it was locked down with this tab here. So once I kind of had the card a little bit unseated, I could reach in from the top because it was very close to the back and there was really no way I could, you know, access this. I reached in and pushed this tab up and the card came right out. So the PNY Accelerate Enthusiast Edition GTX 580 is going to be replaced. This was a really good card. Again, had no issues with it at all, but it won't run three monitors, even though it has three connectors in the back. You have two DVI connectors here and one HDMI connector here. The thing is, is that these two connectors share a, an output on this card. This card will only output to two monitors. So it basically gives you the option of outputting via HDMI or DVI for this output and then DVI for the other one. Here is the EVGA, hopefully you can see that, the EVGA SC GeForce GTX 750 Ti. As you can see, the GTX 580 is actually a bigger card, but it's an older card. It's a more power hungry card and it cannot support three monitors. The cooler on it, you'll notice, is enclosed. So you have an intake fan here, and it blows it out the back here. That's the vent. This is a different card here. It's a little more open to the inside of the computer, although you do have that vent out the back here. Now, if you look on the card itself, the PCB is much smaller, 
than the PCB over here, as you can see. So it's a smaller, more modern card. It should be more heat efficient. I mean, most of it is a heat sink, as you can see here. The heat sink even overextends the PCB. So it should be a much cooler card. The power input on this is only one six pin. If you remember on this card, you had a six pin and an eight pin. You can see it there. So again, this is a much more power hungry card. So this is going to install the same way as the other one. You'll notice on the back there are three connectors. There is a uh, display port, there's an HDMI, and there's the DVI. We're going to use the same slot. So that is this one here. So I'm just going to line everything up here. Again, this is a much smaller card. Let's get the tab up there. There we go. What I did is I pulled the plastic tab up a little bit to let it in. And I'm just going to insert it into place here. There we go. Snap down. So I'm just going to move the tabs back into place and lock them down. That will lock the card into place. There we go. Could probably easy do this easier by pushing it from the back, but let's see if I can do it from the front here. Actually, I'll just push it from the back. There we go. All right, it's nice that this case is, for the most part, toolless. So, here we go. Here are the two connectors. These were the two that I used for the uh, GTX 580. I'm only going to need this one six pin to connect this card, though, which is nice. So, there we go. Plugged in. So, I did a little bit of cable management up here, and the other cord is out of the way. The only last thing I have to do is put this plastic piece in. Not really a hugely necessary piece, but um, I do like to put everything back the way it should be. So let's see if we can slide that in. There we go. It was probably meant to actually slot cards in. You can see it sort of has teeth on the sides. Uh, probably was meant to support a graphics card, but this graphics card is actually much lighter than the previous one and uh, it doesn't really hook into any of those slots anyway, so not a big deal. So I actually have the PC laying on its side right now. Let's see if I can put the side panel back on without putting it up. There we go. There we go. So here we go. Everything is up and running the way it should be. I put the NVIDIA drivers on here that corresponded with the card and all I needed to do was go to the manufacturer's website, EVGA in this case, and I went and put in the information for my graphics card. I didn't have to be very specific. All I had to do is say that it was a GeForce 700 series graphics card, and I went to download the drivers, and the NVIDIA program took care of the rest. So everything is up and running the way it should be. I will be putting a third monitor over to the left, so that's going to do it for this video. If you have any questions or comments, please post them down below. If you like what you see, please subscribe. And if you want to help out my channel, give me a thumbs up, share this video, or you can actually join my Patreon, all of which would be much appreciated. So thank you so much for watching, and I will see you guys next time.